Hmm. Well. <sighs> There's no time like the present. I guess that's what makes it a present. Uh, I have you here. Just want to let you know that everything's going to be okay. Um, as we move forward through this transition in our awareness and our consciousness, um, being able to battle past any old feelings, thoughts, beliefs, when encountering new conflict or things that are perceived as conflict uh, is best to go in and maintain the level of peace that you can attain through meditation. Uh, I think that the most beautiful part about meditation is the release of obligation that we have on ourselves to perform and satisfy our ego for what it's worth or for what we estimate it's worth. Uh, I believe that once we're in that meditative state and in the present in our mind and our heart and our breathing and everything is calm, there's really nothing that could enter into our awareness that would shake us off of that peace until we decide to allow it to. What do I mean? Um, it's similar to whenever you're in an ice bath. Um, there's nothing else that you can focus on except for the ice at that moment. Anything else outside of that um, really doesn't hold much weight towards um, your survival or your overall comfort. And... I believe the reverse occurs with the meditation when inside of that meditative state, um, there's nothing that can enter. Um, there's nothing that can enter inside of the mind that's worth pushing past the bliss, um, clarity, comfort, lightness, spiritual high that's experienced when you're meditating. So I challenge you. Uh, the next time you are faced with a situation that you feel um, an intense emotion about, uh, take a few moments to count down from 10. Uh, play with the pen, play with beads, uh, find some change in your pocket and just kind of rub your fingers around and focus on that object, uh, focus on your breathing. Uh, focus on something outside of what's going on inside of your mind. Uh, I guarantee if you do this, then any and all worries, wonders, um, accidental offenses that we may take towards something that's going on, it'll, um, it'll find its place in our priorities and the hierarchy of what it is to constitute us as people. You know, so um, it's very challenging in the beginning for a lot of people to be able to feel comfortable, feeling comfortable. Uh, a lot of us have so much on our minds all the time that it's it's kind of debilitating. Um, analysis paralysis is a term that's been used a lot. Um in the psychological circles, um, but obsessing, ruminating, feeling stuck, worry, uh, any of these emotions are derived from an expectation, um, an expectation that things are going to go in a certain way and, um, and that's for the future or and an expectation based on past events which is the past. So uh, this was just a quick video. I honestly didn't plan on making a video. I was drying my hair. Just got out the shower. I was drying my hair and I had my camera on and I accidentally clicked the side of my phone and then it kind of started recording. But reaching out to everybody has been on my to-do list. 
um, in terms of adding lectures to the channel. Um, my soul feels rewarded and fueled and enlightened and lightened when I'm able to express myself, whether it be through the videos, through poetry, through arts, through um, physical touch or anything like that, um, giving and appreciating, staying in a state of gratitude for what I have and treating it like I appreciate it to foster even more. So yeah, hopefully this is beneficial to someone. And yeah, I'll see you later.